Steidel Building is one of the most iconic buildings on Penn State's University Park campus. Now, more than 75 years after it was originally created, the building has been completely renovated. It's named after Dean Edward Steidel, whose vision laid the groundwork for today's College of Earth and Mineral Sciences. Today, the building is home to the Department of Materials, Science and Engineering and features collaborative workspaces, state-of-the-art laboratories, cutting-edge equipment, and innovative learning spaces. The Department of Material Science and Engineering at Penn State has amazing faculty and students, and they are working at the forefront of the field in the area of polymer science and engineering and electronic devices, two-dimensional materials, additive manufacturing, to name just a few. In order to maintain a strong department, we really needed, uh, critically, to have a, um, a renovation that uh, brought the building up to 21st century research and teaching standards. One of the major design objectives of this building was to come up with new state-of-the-art labs that can be used by the researchers and also to teach students. This new building has wide open labs where people can share resources, share facilities. We preserved the facade that is so recognizable by virtually everyone who's been at Penn State University Park. They know Steidel Building. We still have our rotunda, we still have our pillars. Uh, it fits with the campus. The only way that you would know that something happened different is when you come to the back of the building, which is now an all glass entrance way, and you look at this building and you go, oh my gosh, I wanna go inside, I wanna see what's there. It is so exciting. The way the building's designed now, you can see up through the atrium and see a whole other floor. You can see into the lab and see people working. You can see materials research and materials being created right in front of you, right then and there. We have student lounges and a student meeting area named by very generous donors, individuals, and companies. The building includes several state-of-the-art features wonderful hood spaces, manufacturing and laser facilities, mechanical testing facilities. This equipment really does help our undergraduate students because having that hands-on experience is very critical and provides a much richer learning experience. At the graduate level, having state-of-the-art facilities is actually a very transformative thing because you want to work with state-of-the-art equipment with people who are at the cutting edge of their professions, who are making the history of materials while you speak. The college is on the doorstep of entering into a new era of research that is helping society deal with some of the most pressing challenges of our times, like helping us become more energy secure, helping us uh, deliver fresh water to the people who need it the most. and. I believe that this renovation is helping the department make that transition um, into a really bright future and um, I, I look forward to the outstanding discoveries and the world-class teaching that will come out of this building over the years. When I walk through the halls of the new building, I feel overwhelmed with gratitude and I think just how lucky I am to be here, to be part of this building, to be able to work in this amazing space, and to be able to be part of a department that works and benefits from this amazing space. It's truly a privilege. <laughs>